If I was invisible, could you see me? No, by definition. And <laughs> two years ago, we thought it was impossible to get invisibility. In fact, in my optics class at the university, I would tell my students, it's impossible for light to bend around an object, reform at the other end. Well, I was wrong. Every really? single physics textbook on the planet Earth is wrong. Two years ago, it was done at Duke University. With microwave radiation, they took an object, they showed that you can bend microwaves around an object, have it reform on the other side as if it's not there at all. And then at Caltech, just six months ago, we did it with visible light. <coughs> now think about that. We can now take, in principle, an object and make it disappear, just like in the movies. So Harry Potter, watch out. The invisibility cloak is a real thing that's gonna happen? A cloak is hard. However, we do think that an invisibility cylinder is possible within a few decades. That's not as sexy as the cloak. Uh, hey, you know, get into it. <laughs> this, is, this is physics we're talking about. <laughs> this is reality. A cylinder, uh, you could put a soldier inside. Right. And of course, guess who's funding this research? The Pentagon. The Pentagon is not stupid. They know the enormous advantage if you have invisible soldiers, invisible helicopters, and what have you. <laughs> if you have a cylinder, the person inside will be invisible because light will wrap around it like water going around a boulder. Wow. Downstream from a boulder, you have no inkling that there's a boulder upstream because water has reformed on the other side. Now, there's some problems because Harry Potter in the inside the cylinder has to look outside. You have to cut two holes in your cylinder. So from the outside, you see two floating eyeballs. <laughs> That's a dead giveaway.